And welcome back to Press X for Chromosomes. First oh, things we first. Wanna, we don't want to see bear pauldrons. I do, but I like. I want to close it out with spider okay. pauldrons because that's absolutely adorable. It is. Okay. So, for someone who does not like spiders. Yeah, I love this spider. This spider's my friend. <laughs> I like my little stuffed tarantula too. Your stuffed tarantula is fucking yeah. adorable. I left a spider. Did I say press X for chromosomes? Yes, you did. Yeah, welcome back to that. Uh, potentially finale of this. It, it, we, yeah, we're this is like encountering the final fight. Heat mother. Now um, the pieces fall into but the I saw a spider the other night just on the ceiling. I was like, yeah. Like, I just didn't want to put the effort out to like right. getting up on a chair and killing it. So I was like, you live today. I was going to bed. Mm -hmm. and i put hamilton back in his i was going to put hamilton into his by the way i'm just this is the mother has like whoa dude you're a little freaky too your mask did it did not render at 50 percent well yeah the the mother had like fucking mayu's charm just in blue oh god damn it yeah anyway back to hamilton um i was putting him into his kennel and i I was like holding him because he was like (laughs) Her Sleepy. mother also has like a breathe right strip on her fucking oh, nose. Damn, her nose, really like the to- like, it, not really, but like the bottom of her nose is way too shiny compared to the bridge of her nose. So <laughs> it looks like a fucking breathe right strip. Um, and I stand up and I look down and I see what appears to be a leaf on the floor. <laughs> it's not a leaf, is it's it? It's a giant fucking hobo spider. And do you think com- like comparable to the one that was on the fucking? No, it was definitely smaller. Yeah, than yours. <laughs> mine was but... like a fucking. Mine could have choked me out. Yeah, <laughs> it, was so big. it was like a face hugger. Yeah, um, it felt like it. It was the most. I stood off of that thing for like a year. It felt like just like stood still, <laughs> like it fucking mattered, and then it like skeetered around way too fast. Jeez. Yeah. No, that guy. He wasn't nearly as big. He was still a good size though. And I looked at it and I went, you know what? I don't know entirely what that is, and I crushed it, and it was a hope, and like it like did like the whole like curl up thing, mm-hmm. and I was like, "Well, I know you guys aren't poisonous to me, but I have a 11 week old puppy. Yeah, I'm, always, I'm not risking it. I'm always nervous when my cat fucking is like, <laughs> like knocking them around. Oh, yeah. I'm like, let's not. <laughs> yeah, you're probably fine, honestly, but like still, let's not. Yeah. I did find the old god a female. Also, my cats don't give a shit bike. about spiders. I my, my cats like moths and flying I'm things, but not oh, spiders. Oh, hell yeah. My cats oh, love cold. moths, too. Um, Pierre's actually my fat one. He he caught a moth. No, I'm sorry. Lamia caught the moth, mm-hmm. and then Pierce heard her chittering weird, so yeah. he decided to go out and see what was up, and then he took the moth away from her and started trying to chew on the moth. Except I followed him out. And I saw him like try to like chomp on the moth, and I took the Is moth away from him and freed it. Because <laughs> I was like, the poor moth. In the name I'll of save moths, but not birds. Life. Yeah. <laughs> I fucking hate birds so much. Both for your people and for <laughs> Horrible. If I ever visit Hawaii, I'll look at all, like, the, all the fucking tropical birds and be like, yeah, y'all are pretty. Fuck off. Yeah, I think birds well, are pretty, but from a distance. Yeah. What's this I'll stupid chirping? Go to bed. <laughs> See, this is like wearing a breeze race strip. It, yeah, that does look really weird. <laughs> There's been plot happening. I feel like we should have been. been. Uh, I have attention. not been paying attention yeah. one bit. I feel like I'm gonna have to make a choice. Yeah. He cannot be allowed to. Be gone, Shadow. You cannot. Bye. The mother any more than you already have. And now the hero is alone. I mean, kind of. Yeah. Not entirely. Firstly, I'm not scared of you. Secondly, I have a spider with pauldrons. She's like, oh, dies. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> Even though she has like weird spider things coming out. From the Why don't I have pauldrons? Wee! Just raise your hands up like you don't care. <laughs> we'll say I do like the mother's lighting, though. Whoa! That's freaky deaky. Oh, there's my screenshot. <laughs> Oh. Uh, so do you not get the Tevedra Towers if you don't side with him? No, I think I get them. Okay. I just he's also my ally. Okay, so radial menu. Oh, it's making me do this. Advanced. Tower of Trauma. Okay. Stunning. Tower of Healing. Heal. But I only got one. Fireball, probably. 
Yeah, Architects yeah. Pyre. Friendly fire possible, but not because it's turned off. Tower of Flame. Single target. Okay, so we have a single target AoE heal and stun. Should I go for an AoE right now? Uh, that wasn't the AoE, that was the stun. Fuck it, I don't care. I mean, hey. <sighs> killing that all didn't these last dudes. Long. No, it didn't. I wonder if it will come. Nope. I don't care, really, honestly. I mean, I did this fight without any help. So. I I didn't know there was help. I like I said, I've only beaten this like once, and I played it like half. Right. One other time. This fight, I remember it being really hard. Hopefully, I confuse those tentacles. <laughs> I remember it not being hard, to be honest. I just remember it well, being kind of fucking annoying. You also sped your character correctly. Oh, that's true. I'm the idiot who doesn't know how to spec warriors. Well, yeah, I mean, you didn't know initially. No. Now you know. Maybe. Oh, you well, did pretty we'll see good. if we ever um, play Diablo. If Diablo still has specking like it used to. I don't remember. I think Diablo had specking. I don't know. I we should play it at some point. We, we should, should play the other games people have been suggesting for us a whole bunch. Oh yeah, Champions of Norath. Yeah. And wasn't I, another one suggested? I can't something? remember. I need to write them down honestly. Yeah. I finally started writing down. I finally started going through some of her older stuff. Not super old, but like uh, re recently old stuff that kind of came to the top <laughs> of my mind to find. Uh, uh, oh shit, someone leveled up. Stuff for our fucking. Are you just freaking out? Like, He's like stunned or something. Uh, Ooh, use the uh, pyre on her. But stuff for our like trailer video. Right. Left. Full left. Yeah. Jesus. That was cool looking. Should I do the other thing on her? Sure, why not? Oh, is this gonna oh, be one of those? There's multiple. Yeah. yeah, do it, do it, do it. AoE. Uh, eh. This one, right? Yeah. It's not like we'll probably ever need. Oh, yeah, yeah! Nice! That looks cool. That does look cool. Dude, why isn't the architect just like pummeling her in the face with his fucking? He said something about not their magic being incompatible or something, some bullshit. Incompatible. He Anders like healed no. Oh, uh, I healed justice because justice is fight a little. Come on, let's go. Yeah, come on, slam. Welcome to, to the, the jam. jam. Fucking. Oh. No, she's not dead. I know she's like. I thought she was like in a weird dying animation. Enough. And it's, uh, it's just quit knocking me back. It's so annoying. Yeah. Let me kill you. I got awoken. I'm woke as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Rush oh, Stupid fucking helmet. Stabby, stabby, stabby. Love it. Ah! Right, oh, in the right mouth. in the fucking teeth. No, we uh, give us that sword back, please. Come on. It's so good. Well, she'll just, she'll like uh, limp down. Yeah, there, there we go. So I can just now pink. we can <laughs> just pull it right out. It out. Oh, it's even our uh, lightning one. Man, this is not good. No. Well, good thing I have a different thumbnail in mind. I, no, sword. I don't need it. Well, we got a cool Victoria! one still. We got a cool one still. I don't care. <laughs> lightning one now that's for someone else it god damn They'll it come down and be like a hero all right after the death of the mother remaining dark spawn forces scattered and fled back into the deep roads the raids on amaranthine came to an abrupt end the architect apparently kept his word gathering his remaining disciples to follow the rest of their kind back underground those gray wardens and other nations were appalled to hear of the architect's con continued existence, but were unable to track him down despite years of effort. Maybe if you guys helped us for once. Right? <laughs> this is what you get. <laughs> Some within the Order have claimed that the architect's survival guarantees another blight, and yet the Deep Roads have lately been quieter than any can recall. Most have resignedly decided that it is now in the maker's hands. I, AKA, eh, fuck it. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Not my problem. Where did the Grey Warden's heroic salvation of Amaranthine spread like wildfire? When the magnitude of the losses at Vigil's Keep came to light, sympathy drove generous donations from all over Ferelden into the region's coffers. Amaranthine was restored to her formal glory within a year. Vigil's Keep in five. Yeah! Because of the Grey Warden's support for law and order in Amaranthine, Constable... Aiden and his men were able to distribute the smugglers' goods to the battered survivors in the grueling days that followed the Darkspawn defeat. 
<laughs> yeah. The Dark Spawn Messenger, set free after joining the Warden in the Battle of Amaranthine, struck out on his own. The city soon buzzed with stories of a cloaked but lisping figure who aided travelers in danger. At the same time, reports of isolated cases of the Dark Spawn disease emerged. No one connected the two. <laughs> that fucker we released. I think I released him last time too. And it, like there was God the same thing it. and I was like, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> but he's like helping at the same time. Well that doesn't he just mean, is fucking He just, may not be doing the disease. Yeah. Or I he honestly, might be unintentionally doing yeah, it. Yeah, I honestly don't entirely know how that works if you have to like swallow dark spawn blood also just... not really something they touch upon ever past this game mm-hmm. so fuck it yeah it literally they, they, they don't fucking ever go yes this thing they just kind of dropped it because right. like, there's a lot of things in this expansion that they just go yeah it doesn't right. matter well, there's a lot of things in origins that they just drop but, but a lot mentioned. of origins yeah but they 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 uh, still a decent amount in origins i mean i can understand you can only do so much over three games right but like there's still a decent amount of origins that it's like, okay, this played into that. I get it. Mm-hmm. Or whatever. Not a lot of awakening plays into anything. <laughs> it's just kind of like, yeah, it was there. It kind of happened. Right. And then the most, it's like, oh, Corypheus and the architect. Yeah. Okay. Which is frustrating because Corypheus was a DLC and not everyone got to play him. Oh, no. he's, he's the main villain now. Who the fuck is that? Whereas I, like I said, like I was like, this fucker. <laughs> yeah. Although I will say they did do nice in um, tying and so if yeah. you didn't know who the fuck Corypheus was, it. Yeah. they did explain it very well. Unfortunately, my beef with Kingdom Hearts is, is that the third game, oh, you didn't play the side games? Bummer. You're boned. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I'm a little salty about that still. Yeah. <laughs> Although the war devastated many farms in the Arlene, all agreed the loss would have been greater without the soldiers for protection. Yay. <laughs> the farm holders developed a certain reverence for the warden commander, as well as an ongoing re- Alliance on the Grey Wardens for order and protection. Woo! Yeah, I'm creating my own little city-state. Fuck yes. Do you want to do this one? Or do you want me to Shh, read everything? I'll, I'll, I'll do this. Okay. Vigil's Keep stood alone against a horde of Darkspawn. The Mother's forces outnumber the Vigil's defenders many times over. Whoops. <laughs> eh. But the sturdy dwarven walls proved impervious to any boulder and ogre concern. Orgur. 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 The vi- <laughs> That's how I feel about them, honestly. <laughs> 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 the vigil soldiers, clad in silverite, each felled a dozen dark spawn before they died. Oh fuck you! It's still pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the vigil held one night, then two, then a week, and eventually the attacking horde broke upon her walls. The keep developed almost a mythic uh, reputation. The few survivors immortalized in song and legend. Okay, so technically we did say vigil's keep as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it just good. didn't like. It just was like, lol. Maybe you didn't. Just to make I, you. And it's like, lol. Maybe you didn't. I'm like, eh. Yeah. <laughs> whatever. I tried um, that picture of fucking Edna or Krabappel or whatever from fucking yeah. Simpsons. Whatever I tried. Um, I do know that there are achievements depending on which one you defend. So you can't get both of them in one game. So you have to like play. Save. Exactly. You have to play the final bit again. Yeah. Being like, oh, I decided to save visuals. Keep. And time. I don't give a shit enough because. Fuck my Xbox score. Right. Peace allowed the Wardens to replenish their numbers. Soon, Vigils Keep bore a capable capable army with Wardens at its core. From their ranks emerged new heroes to challenge threats to Amaranthine and all of Ferelda. Yay! I remember uh, scores or whatever. I remember one of the dudes I worked at, like, the uh, store assistant or whatever, mm-hmm. store manager, like, the at GameStop. He wasn't the top kahunas. He was like the second in command. Right. And he fucking was like, yeah, I would like work really hard for my game of scores. So like, I'm like, oh, cool. Like, how much is it? Or whatever. And he was like, 20,000 something. I was like, oh. Oops. Mine is too. And I don't work hard at all. <laughs> and I'm like, you're such a fucking e-penis dude. <laughs> Jesus. Calm down. Through taxes and levies, the vigil was rebuilt. Years later, v- Voldrick <laughs> Glavnock, yeah, stood on the oh yeah, Glavnock, yeah, that guy stood on the battlements and pronounced that the defenses were acceptable. He would never speak more or er, more highly of any human injury. Oh, nearing. that was the dwarf. I was figuring at that point. Dark whispers of conspiracy against the wardens fell silent after a rash of accidents and disappearances culminated in the apparent suicide of Ban. Esmeral. Yeah. The nobles of Amaranthine remain dutiful. Some even suggest they were uh, cowed. cowed into submission. I wonder okay. if that's the person we fucking stabbed up. 
that was like people are plotting of your demise. We took out a lady. Well, is Morel sounds like a fucking lady? Ban, I think, is a male title. Esmeral still sounds like a lady. Well, yes, but it could be the last name. Esmeral still sounds like a lady. <laughs> Dude, I know a last name where his last name is Guy. I've seen that. Yeah. Creative. Right. <laughs> Among the many legends that Vigil spawned was one of the great heroes of the next age, a sheep herder turned soldier by the name of Sir Alec the Valiant, who eventually founded an order of knights that lasted a thousand years. Who the fuck is that? Cool. <laughs> yeah, like that's super relevant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the commander's blade, Vigilance, crafted from the bones of an ancient dragon, was boldly. What, is that the one I'm holding? I think I so. think it is. Yeah, that's the coolest fucking blade. Was boldly boldly stolen by the Intrieve and Crows. Fuck Zevran. you, Zevran. Give it back. <laughs> <laughs> Zevran. Like, this is just like an elaborate game by Zevran. Yeah, it's like the fucking like stealing a like the football teams or mascot or rival right. football teams or whatever. He just stole my or Zevran. it's like, like you fuck. steal something important from the other person so they have I to come see you. You just like give it back. <laughs> He's like, yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> this is on your sword. Uh, the blade changed hands many times thereafter. I hope we get the blade back in like a later game. That'd be cool. <gasps> that would be so or cool. like like our Warren comes down and is like has the blade. And I'm like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the blade changed hands many times thereafter with some master swordsmen pursuing the weapon their entire lives. Some claim that this legendary blade had a life of its own and its power is steadily growing. Oh dear. D- d- fucking that guy. H- Hadouken. Uh, Dworkin. Yeah. Glafnock. Further, oh, that must have been like the, f- the explosive the guy. Dwarf, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the brother. Further refined his lyrium sand explosives, but left the warden's employ after Canari mercenaries tried to assassinate him. Although the dwarven bombardier took his secrets with him, the legends say he left clues for the others learned. to father, what, fo- follow in his footsteps. <laughs> what? The learned. The learned? <laughs> oh. I don't remember what you said, but it was not learned. <laughs> I said I said the legend. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So I made it fucking better. Yes, technically. <laughs> the vigil soldiers uh, wearing the distinctive silverite armor that Master Wade crafted came to be known as the Silver Order. Under the so you never hear of any of these no. ever. Under the tutelage of the Wardens, the Silver Order developed into one of the Ferelden's most Oh, yeah, Ferelden's most revered military forces, a lasting memory of the Vigil's famous commander. There you go. All right. I can't. I can barely see this in the first place. Uh, yeah, this place. one's a little hard to read. With Valen and the architect gone from the region, the pilgrim's path began to see traffic. Traffic again. The massacre of the militiamen and the merchants, however, led to hostilities between the neighboring human settlements and any Dalish clans that passed by. What? What doesn't? Honestly. Yeah. <laughs> One human villager soon kidnapped and murdered a Dalish child. The clans reacted by giving the Wending Wood a wide berth, but both sides know that at some point the elves will return for revenge. This just sounds like it's fucking the wolves and the werewolves and shit all over again. God, I know. Like, also... Can you guys just get along for once? I, yeah. I'm gonna be pissy. I'm gonna take this child and kill it. Why? Yeah. Like, what did that kid do to you? Look at you? Breathe? Exist? Uh, probably. Yeah. A few years after Cal Haral was emptied of Darkspawn, Orzammar began sending expeditions to recover the knowledge of smithing that had been lost within the Taig. Eventually, House Helmy decided that Cal Haral was too important to be abandoned. At a tremendous cost of dwarven lives, they cleared the tunnels leading to Cal Haral of all Darkspawn, making the road between Orzammar and the fortress safe again. Cal Haral was rec- reclaimed for Orzammar once and for all. As promised, Vodrick and Dorkin presented Orzammar's Shaperate with a stone marker that told of how Kalharal's castles had taken up arms against the Darkspawn. Commander, the Commander of the Grave was invited to Orzammar as a guest of honor at feast commemorating the defenders of Kalharal. The Shaper read the names of the castles off the marker, then provided over a ceremony to return them to the stone as befitted warriors of their stature. In time, the Arlene began to forget the tales of apparitions in the Black Marsh, and ever, ever so slowly, settlers drifted into the region. Scholars said that the veil th- was still thin, and thus the area is still dangerous, but the people only cared that there were no longer frightened whispers in the shadows. The village was slowly rebuilt. Twice the Baroness's mansion was rebuilt and occupied, once by a wealthy merchant, and another time by an Arlesian mage. Both died mysteriously. Afterwards, the mansion was torn down completely, and the site left untouched. 
probably the best choice. Anders remained <laughs> with the Grey Warrens for a few years longer. I just, this is funny because we know what happens. Oh, yeah. We know where this goes. Oh, yes. Uh, training the Order's next generation of mages. But when the Circle Tower called on him to deliver a lecture on the nature of the architect, much to the Templar's dismay, Anders told the commander of the Grey that his time with the Warrens was over. He's just like, bye, Felicia, and leaves. Yeah, like, why? <laughs> That's so fucking. They want me to give a lecture. I, I'm Bye. done. What? Why? And yet, not two months later, Anders returned to the order. Fucking dude, make up your mind. <laughs> Ever after, the wardens were his home and his lasting companions. So he had like a panic yeah. attack and was like, see you later. And then he came back. Being and he like, was like, nah, I'm kidding. Logic, okay? Yeah. <laughs> and then he leaves again. Anders. Yeah. Anders. When the walls of Vigil's Keep were breached, the surviving defenders watched in horror as a section of stone collapsed upon Felina. Fuck her, honestly, I don't care. When the rubble was later cleared, however, there was no body. Felina was just gone. She probably did her like, probably, like mind yeah, thing yeah, to yeah get like out. treat away. Yeah, <laughs> treat away. <laughs> <laughs> Over the next years, Nathaniel dedicated himself to the order and to clearing the blemishes on his family's name. After saving Jesus Christ, <laughs> I normally don't have the sound on my phone, but fuck, Christ. man, your Etsy's popular. I know. Uh after saving Taryn Fergus Kuzlin Fergus! from oh man thanks thank you guy from a bandit attack a portion of Amaranthine was returned to the house Aww. how nice Nathaniel passed the holding to Delilah. Delilah's son I thought I said Delilah's son I was like what <laughs> and yeah the child that was killed here you can have my yeah problem. and when a new castle was eventually built there a statue of Nathaniel was created in its courtyard Aww. how nice uh, once the dark spawn threat was ended, Justice left the Grey Warrens to pursue other <laughs> injustices. Mm. A year later, he appeared on the doorstep of Kristoff's widow and, smiling, simply dropped dead. <laughs> Thanks. Now I gotta clean up a body, fucker. She's like, oh my fucking god. She's like, <gasps> he like has a fucking heart attack because she just had to leave through fucking. What the hell? I turned this off and it fucking turned back <laughs> on. But she is like a like through this has a fucking like. Heart PTSD. Die. Oh yeah, because yeah. I watched her die twice. <laughs> I mean, she technically she wasn't there for the first time, but yeah. she got to see her rotting husband. Yeah, or finally had a body to mourn. If the spirit itself remains alive, it is not shown itself. If. Well, there's a fucking reason, man. Uh, it was Sigrun who led the charge against the Darkspawn when Vigil's keep was attacked. Was. Once again, she had an army behind her, and once again, they fought Darkspawn with no hope of survival. This time, Sigrun did not flee. I don't know. It doesn't okay. state whether or not. I hope you died, Ogren. <laughs> and Vigil's keep, Ogren rallied a last minute defense of the gate, taking on two ogres simultaneously to allow others time to regain the courtyard. He eventually passed out from blood loss, and when he awoke weeks later, no one was more nobody was more surprised than he to discover he had been credited a hero. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Ogren continued to regale young warden recruits with his tales of prowess and both battle in bed his drinking games prompted at least one recruit to declare that she'd rather uh re-tempt the joining than lift another mug jeez oh, felsi returned to vigil's keep several times to see ogren usually bringing their toddler as well ogren's inability to act seriously wore on her however and her visits dwindled then stopped altogether if ogren missed her or his child he never showed it what that was the bag. one thing that made me a little sad because I was like, I intended for them to get back together yeah. and I just didn't know that it was the last battle. And I was like, no. Yeah. Well, like, <laughs> like we, we got screwed out of a few things because of we that did. glitch. And we didn't. Yeah. No. Yeah. But whatever. As for the savior of Ferelden, she did not remain a commander for the of the gray for long. The Darkspawn were no longer a real concern. The blight well was uh, the blight well and truly over. And technically we do still have. Yeah. It was time for her to move on. I think we still have one more to venture god that's technically sleeping. There's either one or two more gods, technically. So there could be one or two more blights. Yeah. Could be. Some change, uh, some claim the, she returned to Alistair, her true love. That sort's my true love, let's be honest. <laughs> also speed her with tiny pauldrons. <laughs> and then you're like, check it out! And Alistair's like, oh god. <laughs> that's frightening. <laughs> 
<laughs> but the pauldrons are so cute. <laughs> and the life far away from both Ferelden and the royal court. Some say that she served the Grey Wardens elsewhere, Alster at her side, or that the two of them were seen often at the palace in Denerim. I'm sure Nora was fucking pleased about oh, that. right. After a number of years, however, neither she nor Alistair were ever seen again. Or were seen again. Perhaps they were... Perhaps they undertook some mission on behalf of the Grey Warrens or departed for their own adventures or simply disappeared. Most assume their tale was far from complete. Yeah, and you guys still are taking forever to fucking... Beat the game. So there's no real follow-up about the architect. No. Yeah. Other than the dark, the deep roads are kind of quiet, and I'm kind of wondering if it's gonna be something like, um, uh, Mass Effect's Black Matter thing, where it's just kind of dropped. Oh, Never, okay. either they're gonna bring it up later. I mean, they are entering to Venter theoretically. theoretically, so there's a there's a very wide chance that something could happen. But <laughs> fucking the architect really- shows back up, and you're like, God. Damn it! Corypheus just shows back up. Motherfucker. Dude, can you just stay dead? You've been in like three games now. But, um. You're not that compelling. But fucking. They've essentially right now brushed him aside. Yeah. No, I think they, they like. Have. Token me- mentioned the architect in Inquisition, but they didn't really I do much vaguely, past that. I do vaguely remember there being some mention of the architect. Yeah, like it's in a token, like some yeah. vague like, mention, like a um, a codex or something. Yeah, yeah, or like they were like, oh, he's like the this thing, the architect that was right. reported, and I'm like, oh, I murdered his face off. <laughs> but yeah, so I mean, there's that. I guess. Yeah. Nothing's gonna happen. I'm just gonna say right now. I'm gonna. Yep, there we go. Aww. So, uh, w- fuck it, whatever. I was gonna say we have g- sat through the main credits. Yeah, we we sat through the credits uh, and listened to thirty seconds of Mars. Yeah, fuck it, which I had to take out. Yeah, put, I figured. Put all of my other music. Uh, moral of the story is we're gonna stop here. Uh, this is the finale for Awakening, but we're gonna play Witch Hunt next. Woo-hoo! So we'll catch you guys on that one, and then probably two, or maybe we'll take a break. Who knows? So uh, yeah. In I I me right now says yes to immediately. Yeah. But <laughs> at the same time, I know that might be kind of fucking frustrating for our viewers. But until next time, bye. bye.